Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for the Your Daily Prayer podcast. We hope these few moments of prayer and reflection are encouraging to you as you go about your day. To get all of our episodes straight to your phone during the week, just subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcast. To find more prayers, devotional content, and blog posts, we would love for you to join us at iBelieve.com. A Prayer for Extraordinary Impact Written by Lisa Turkhurst and read by Kelly Gibbons After Ehud came Shamgar, son of Anath, who struck down 600 Philistines with an ox goad. He too saved Israel. Judges 3.31 I am a woman who wants to make a difference for Christ in the world. I want my life and legacy to count for something with eternal significance. I want to stand before God one day knowing I fulfilled the purposes He had for me. But there's always this nagging sense inside of me that the world's problems are too big and I'm too small. Can you relate? That's why I'm so fascinated with Shamgar. Tucked into this one verse, we see three things Shamgar did that resulted in his life having an extraordinary impact. First, he offered God his willingness. Second, he used what God had given him. And third, he stayed true to who he was. And in doing those three things, it was enough. God used him to save the nation of Israel. Oh, how Shamgar's story stirs my soul. He was an ordinary person in an ordinary place, doing an ordinary job. The thing that made him extraordinary wasn't anything external. It was his internal drive to do the right thing and be obedient to God right where he was. His job was to be obedient to God. God's job was everything else. The same is possible for us. If we are obedient to God in the midst of our ordinary lives, extraordinary impact is always possible. I love that God's hand is never limited by what we have in ours. Do you long to live a life that has extraordinary impact? I pray you will grab hold of the encouragement found in Shamgar's story. First, offer God your willingness. Even if you feel small, even if you feel unlikely, even if everything in you is screaming you are not someone who could be used by God, simply offer Him your willingness. Second, use what God has given you. What's in your hand, sweet friend? What gift, what talent, what ability? Whatever it is, take time to sharpen it and choose to believe God can use it when you humbly offer it up to him. Third, stay true to who you are. God didn't ask Shamgar to be anyone other than a farmer. He's not asking you to be anyone other than who he designed you to be. You do you, and then watch with humble amazement as God uses your willing, obedient, ordinary life to accomplish extraordinary things in His name. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for reminding me that you can use anyone and everyone. I willingly offer all that I am and all that I have, choosing to believe that who I am is enough to be used by you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.